Today on Household Hacker, we'll make our own DIY flashlight. First things first, to make the flashlight we need scrap parts. I found a broken push light in my basement. After unscrewing the case I was met with some awesome parts. What I needed most is a light bulb, so I'm going to surgically extract it with the finest precision. Let's hope it works. Now the power source. Two AA batteries will power this bulb so I push them together and bound them strongly with some heavy duty tape. Pretty swank. Now just a wee bit of wire slightly longer than the batteries. I'm going to tape it to the negative terminal of the batteries and secure it into place. Now take the other end of the wire and tape it to the side of the light bulb, not the bottom. Next up, we can test it out and make sure it all works. Now you can take the wired bulb and touch the end of it to the top of the battery. If it lights up, then you did everything right. Awesome! You just made your own crude flashlight that might save you at some point. But I'm going to take it just a bit further. I figured this thing might fit into a marker case pretty easily. So I clipped off the top, hollowed it out very carefully so I didn't get ink everywhere. Who wants that anyways? Then I pushed the flashlight into the case and it fit pretty snug, which can protect it and actually make it useful for later. But how about triggering this bulb? It just so happens that that push light I found had a spring in it. I grabbed that and put it to use. After trimming it down, I glued it into place and I now had a spring-loaded switch. I took some aluminum foil and made a small cone from it. Added that to the top of the flashlight and secured it with tape. It's not pretty, but it's effective. The foil is conductive, which allowed me to use it as a trigger for the bulb. Whenever it was squeezed at the base, the bulb would ignite, giving me instant light for whatever I needed it for. And that's the DIY flashlight. Pretty simple really, but completely awesome. Thanks to Sprint for supporting this project. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of their awesome videos below and learn something new. See you next time.